Halfway around the world, we've witnessed the ongoing conflict, a hundred-year-old war that's even caused division between Jewish and Palestinian Arab groups in America. Now, the divide has spilled over to include a now-canceled food truck event in Kensington. It was a statement that was made on the internet and then was flipped into anti-Semitic uh, rhetoric. And, and I think that's not indicative of what we stand for. That statement came from the Israeli food truck Moshava Philly. Employees took to social media, saying they were uninvited to Sunday's The Taste of Home event. The post ignited a firestorm on social media. It then got the attention of the American Jewish Committee of Philadelphia and Southern New Jersey. Melvin Powell says that statement unfairly targeted event organizers, eat up the borders, and others associated with the Kensington Park. From local businesses, black-owned businesses, immigrant-owned businesses, all being attacked now um, because of the decision to remove one of the trucks. Powell runs Sunflower Philly, which owns this community space. He says at past food truck events, both Israeli and Palestinian trucks were present. Powell told NBC10 an agreement was made in the past that one can't be there without the other. Well, this time, the owners of the Palestinian truck had to back out for an unrelated reason, which is why Moshava Philly, the Israeli truck, was asked not to come. Or the fact that we couldn't accurately represent both of them is the reason why we canceled this event today. Uh, Powell points to the hand-painted Israeli and Palestinian flags in the park to show they preach peace. In a Facebook post, Moshava Philly says it was responding to the threat of possible protests if their truck showed up, saying, quote, Although we were disappointed with how the situation was greatly mishandled, we do not believe the organizer's intention came from an anti-Semitic place, but the threats they were receiving to the event were. Sunflower Philly and Eat Up the Borders will meet with local Israeli and Palestinian groups for a conversation on resolution. A teachable moment born out of a global conflict. In Kensington, Brandon Hudson, NBC 10 News.